So I'm gonna talk about a favorite of mine, a favorite of a lot of people at the store. If someone was like, what's the strangest movie you've ever seen? This would be but top top of the food chain for one. me is uh, John Pay's Crime Wave. And it was released here under the title Big Crime Wave because it came out, it was released around the same time as Sam Raimi's Crime Wave. <laughs> this movie is about a man, uh, Stephen Penny, played by John Pays himself. He lives in a garage of a family, um, and, th and the movie, the whole movie is narrated by the uh, the girl. It's like a mom and a dad and this little girl, Kim. This and, girl uh, has my same haircut. She does have your same haircut. Uh, she narrates the whole movie, and it's kind of shot in, it's almost shot like an industrial film, like an educational film. A lot of parts are like the montages that are like an educational film that show you how how like the persistence of vision works or whatever. He's uh, what she keeps calling a color crime filmmaker, but he's he's trying to write movies, but he can only come up with uh, beginnings and endings. He has trouble with the middles. And so throughout the movie, it will it'll cut away from like the rea you know from the real world to these these scripts that he's written or whatever. The top few guys made it. On the East Coast, there was Eddie Carlton's tribute to Buddy. And they're about like rock stars or murderers and stuff like that. But it'll only be the beginnings, and then it'll go, and then she'll it'll cut back to Kim and she'll go, and here's the here's how that ends. And it'll cut to the ending, but there's never the middle part. <laughs> it's one of those movies. It's kind of like a you have to see it. You have to see it kind of movies because yeah. it's it isn't. Um, it's all it's all in the style and the when execution was it, and stuff. When was it made? Uh, like 1986. Um, the cover looks so very like 1985. 1985. Yeah, and I mean it's, <laughs> it's it's in the style of that. It's yeah. like it's like and it it all takes place in this idyllic, you know, sort of. Uh, suburb world. He's a very weird character. He doesn't talk at all through the whole movie. It becomes kind of like a kind of a bit of a thriller mm -hmm. towards the end. Thought? Hey? Hey? Ah! He made a bunch of short films too. We have a collection of his short films also. Uh, some of them are the I don't think it's the same character, but they're a sort of a trilogy of movies like spring springtime in greenland is one but they're all they're all like very much the same style like they're not fake educational films but they're like in that style yeah. of like an industrial film or educational film or something uh but he also he made stuff after that he's from winnipeg same i think he went to i think he actually went to school with guy madden oh. so like these you know it's these it's all these Winnipeg filmmakers are just weirdos, uh, <laughs> but in a but in a very uh, very if you're from in a very Winnipeg, productive we're sorry, way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't. I mean, if you're from Winnipeg, send us your short film. I want to see it. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't mean weird. I don't mean in a bad way. <laughs> Certainly, it's one of the weirdest movies ever. I think everyone should should check it out if you're looking for a movie that isn't is unlike any other movie. John Pay's Crime Wave fits that bill. Tagline: He was a quiet man. <laughs> That's all you need to know. It's true.